Hey, it's Alan from Eventide here again. This time, I have all four Eventide stomp boxes. We're gonna talk about the different sounds that you can get using combinations of those. And there's also a new software version which adds new features, which I'm gonna show you. And we also have some very special sounds which are presets from Dave Kilminster, who is the guitar player for Roger Waters in the current tour of The Wall. Eventide stomp boxes have been out for a while now, and as some of you know, they have software which is updatable via eventide.com. And what we've done in the past is listen to customer requests, and if enough people ask for one specific feature, a lot of times we'll be able to go ahead and actually put that in the stomp boxes. And in this case, in the newest version, version 3.5, we have added preset naming, and this is something that people have been asking for. Now that the stomp boxes have 100 presets each, you can name your presets, and you can also back them up to a computer, and we have software that lets you organize them on the computer so you can actually type the names in on your computer, bounce them into the pedal, and uh, it's a great way to keep track of all your sounds. The program that we have for editing and keeping track of your sounds is called Factor Lib, and it's a free download from eventide.com. Another new feature that we've added is a customer request, and this is output level control. You can individually save different output levels for every one of your presets now. And this is helpful if you want to match levels for different sounds in your system, or if you want some presets to sound louder when you kick them in, or softer. And so uh, that is a feature that is in version 3.5 of the Eventide Stomp Boxes. Another advantage of Eventide Stomp Boxes is that they're MIDI compatible. The MIDI is a way that you can connect all of the Stomp Boxes together and have one control the rest. So you can have a finely tuned system. And among the improvements that we've made in the newest software version are improved timing of MIDI clock and that ensures that everything is at the same tempo, and I'll show you that in a minute. Among the new features in Eventide Stomp Boxes are some new sounds, and the sound I'm gonna show you now is a new one in the mod factor. It's a new vocal wah, and this is a sound that allows you to set two different vocal vowel sounds, and then you can use an expression pedal to smoothly transition between those two sounds and you can get something like this. Another new sound is in the time factor. We've improved the tape echo to make it sound more like a classic analog tape echo. And this is what that sounds like. For the pitch factor, we added a few new features. One of them is more scales in the diatonic effect, which means that you can dial in things like harmonic minor scale or Hungarian scale or whole tone scale. And uh, so that's a cool new thing, and that was a customer request. Another new feature is two second delay. We extended the amount of delay that you can get from 1.5 seconds to two seconds. And that effect combined with a detuning from the micro pitch algorithm gives you a classic sound, uh, which was favored by Eddie Van Halen and a lot of other guitar players for a long time and it's a really cool sounding wide stereo effect and it sounds like this.
One of the new features in Eventide Space is the ability to freeze. And what this means is you can play a note or a chord, you can hit the freeze button, and that will sustain what you just played. And then you can play over that, and if you use the effect called dual verb, the thing that you play over the frozen part will also be affected with reverb. And you can do some cool stuff with that. So here's what that sounds like. It's still going. <laughs> yeah. Next, I want to show you what you can do with combinations of Eventide stomp boxes. You can get a lot of really unique, complex sounds that you can't get with any other device. And this is one of those sounds where your guitar will actually end up sounding like a synth. Um, and I'm going to show you how I build this sound. First I'm going to show you what I'm playing. So this is completely dry. I'm just doing something like this. So first I'm going to add the time factor. And this is a factory preset. It's 7-1. And so when I add that and play the same thing, it sounds like this. And this is just one echo. So next, I'm going to add the pitch factor. And what this will do is harmonize whatever I play, and it'll make it into a chord. And this is also a factory preset. On the pitch factor, this is 6-1. And so the two sound like this. Next, I'm going to add the mod factor, and I'm going to use a rotary speaker sound. And this is factory preset 6-2 on mod factor. So that sounds like this. And last, I'm going to add the space pedal, which is a reverb and beyond stomp box. And I'm going to use factory preset number five, which is dual verb. So all four Eventide stomp boxes gets you this sound. Mm -hmm. 